Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As I promised, I'm going to show you how to sharp your pencil like this. So I'm going to use this cheap 2.5 HP pencil for this purpose. I always prefer some cheap pencils for this technique because there's a possibility that you broke the lead if you press it too hard along the paper. So it's better to use cheap pencils for base shading rather than using your expensive pencils and wasting your money. So it's a goldfish pencil which costs about $0.05 in Pakistan. And this one is Eiffel's 3B pencil which costs about $0.3 in Pakistan. So there's a huge difference between $0.3 and $0.05. So I'm going to use this cheaper one. Okay, let's do some sharpening. So I have two types of craft knife here. First one is X-Acto knife. You can also make this knife at home. Click this I button here to watch my video on this. And the second one is ordinary craft knife. If you have this X-Acto knife, it will be better for you because you will have this grip right here to put your thumb and hold your knife tightly. But if you don't have this X-Acto knife, then you can also sharp your pencil with an ordinary craft knife. So I'm going to use this ordinary craft knife. Just hold your craft knife like this. Place your thumb right here and slide it on your pencil just like this. You have to pull the pencil backward by pushing knife in forward direction. Just like this. Keep in mind that you have to do this gently or you will break the lead of your pencil. Most of the people do it like this. It's a good technique but I won't recommend it to absolute beginners. So let's sharp the pencil with this technique. Make sure to slow down the process a little when you start seeing the lead. So we are done with the wooden part. As you can see the lead is approximately 0.7 or 0.8 inches in length. Ok let's sharp this lead with the same knife. Actually we have two methods for lead sharpening. First one is placing the pencil on a plane surface and sharpening the lead just like this. Actually this technique is for absolute beginners because in this case you don't have to touch the blade in this whole process. And the second one is my personally developed technique which I've been using for about 3 years and I have the perfect control on movement of blade and all that risky stuff. So don't worry about my fingertips. If you are not comfortable with this technique you can use the previous one. And here you go, our pencil is ready for some base shadings. Let's test this pencil by comparing with a short lead pencil. As you can see there's a huge difference between both the shadings. And you can notice that the sharp tip shade cannot be blended easily. So this is the method I've been using for 3 years and I think it's pretty effective. So let me know in the comments what you think of this technique, like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to let me know in the comments what you would like to see in my next video. Subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorials, live hacks, tips and tricks. Have a nice day.